So I actually graduated in May 2009 from UC Berkeley. And uh, after graduating, I started a company <clears throat> with another friend of mine and started off as a class research project during the last semester at Cal. And in short, we figured out a way to transform the tons of coffee ground waste generated daily uh, by different baristas in the Bay Area into gourmet mushrooms. And we sell those back to local consumers. So I was trying to take a waste stream uh, that was going to the landfill and add value to it. And uh, the cool thing is after we're done, our own waste becomes really rich compost. And so we donate that back to the local community. So it's really creating kind of closed loop system. Sure. So I think we definitely try to expand to every urban area across America. There's coffee ground waste and demand for mushrooms in every city across America. And the biggest way to do that is when you go to a new area is to you know, let people know that, hey, we're coming out there. And traditional media is pretty expensive, radio, TV, things like that. And we've been fortunate enough to kind of build a large you know, Facebook group, Twitter following, um, YouTube videos, things like that, which has really been helpful to get people aware that we're coming to you know, a town near them. I think uh, the geolocation service is the next kind of big wave of the internet. It allows you to take static information, interact with people in the virtual world, and interact with them in the real world. And we're pretty excited about trying to you know, start things like that. Because um, one of our biggest avenues of sales for our fresh produce or mushrooms is through farmers markets, where we have sales teams out in actual you know, real world locations. And it'd be you know, pretty exciting for us to be able to have people track where our sales teams are at different farmers markets. Uh, based on geolocation services on their cell phones and uh, I think, you know, just, just think of a myriad of different ways you could execute upon that and kind of make it a creative way with giveaways and contests and, you know, if you find us here within the next 30 minutes you get a free something. So I think just being able to translate that the virtual world into the real world and start making them interact a lot more easily is kind of that next wave of where companies can use it and people can have fun with it too.